What's going on guys? I've got here a 2013 Dodge Dart and I'm gonna use this car to show you the location of the fuel pump relay as well as the two fuses that are necessary for the fuel pump to work. So we're gonna begin by opening this cover up. Over here on the left hand side, you can grab this piece and pull up. Although sometimes this will be stuck in here due to this tab. So sometimes you have to push that tab in as you pull up here. Now with this fuse box cover removed, we can take a look at the fuel pump relay. So this is the fuel pump relay here. And my absolute favorite way to troubleshoot relays is I'll have someone in the car trying to start it. And while they're doing that, I'll come here and I'll actually tap on the top of this relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck or frozen. And by tapping on the relay or even wiggling the relay around, sometimes you can get them to start working again. Now when this relay engages, what it does is it takes power from this 20 amp fuse located right here and it sends it into the fuel pump. So this is the fuse that actually drives that fuel pump when the relay is engaged. And I've removed it here just to show you what a good fuse looks like. Now let's reinstall it. There's another important fuse that is necessary for the fuel pump relay to even turn on and that is this 20 amp fuse right here. So definitely check those two fuses out. Another great troubleshooting step you can do with relays is you can swap them. So uh, I'll show you how to remove the relay. It helps to uh, have some pliers. You're gonna want to gently squeeze the relay as you wiggle it side to side and pull upward. So I'm gonna pull this relay out, set it aside. Now I can remove the fuel pump relay. I have a little better access to it with that first relay removed. So we could swap these two, these two relays with each other and see if the fuel pump works. Now another troubleshooting step I can do with the relay removed is I can actually directly send power to the fuel pump. And I'm going to do this by connecting these two pins together. You can use a wire or pl even pliers like what I'm doing here. Now I'm not sure if you're able to pick this up on the audio, but when I do this I can actually hear the fuel pump running. So you, you're probably not able to pick it up with the cell phone mic, but um, if you're in a quiet environment, touching those two pins together should result in the fuel pump running and you should be able to hear it. If you're not able to hear your, your fuel pump run, even when you're touching those two pins together, then it could be that your fuel pump is failing or you have a bad connection to the fuel pump. And of course, you'll want to do that test with the fuel pump fuse installed, and you'll want to make sure that you have a good fuse. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful to you, or at the very least was a good starting point in troubleshooting the fuel pump on your Dodge Dart. Please do let me know down below if you have any questions or any advice. Thanks for watching.